Number 1 Attica Ben Shirai, who grew up in New Zealand, wasn't the first non-Aboriginal chef to grasp the potential of native ingredients. Attica's degustations are unusual, world-recognized and utterly captivating. We're blessed to have a restaurant of this caliber in Melbourne. Number 2 Minamishima There are a lot of noisy dining rooms on this list. Minamishima's hushed, reverent atmosphere is better suited to the awe-inspiring knife skills of owner-chef Koichi Minamishima and a few trusted offsetters. Number 3 Gimlet at Cavendish House Located in a grand, 1920s Chicago-style building, this is one of the most splendid dining rooms in the city, one you could swear has married grandeur and comfort effortlessly for decades, not since 2020. Number 4 Aru Khan Nguyen's second restaurant takes everything that made Sunda great and dials up the theater. A visit here is about Asian flavors remixed in creative, surprising ways, like this Bunnings-inspired duck sausage in bread or a pâté and crut filled with banh mi flavors. Number 5 Navi He combines rigorous European technique with native ingredients and Eastern philosophy for dishes such as smoked blue mackerel marinated in honey and white soy, then aged for a week in beeswax. Experience it all over four, five or eight courses, with optional pre-drinks at the drop-in Navi Lounge. Number 6 Stokehouse Current executive chef Jason Stott continues to do magical things with blindingly fresh seafood, sommelier Will Martin has the crisp whites and perfumed light reds to match, the tablecloths are resolutely starchy, and that sparkling view is as magnificent as ever. Number 7 Osteria Ilaria The follow-up to Tipo 00 stretches beyond the pasta bar concept to deliver meat and seafood dishes that are merely Italianish, in a slightly more buttoned-up environment. But like Tipo, its subtle culinary innovations and familiar yet attentive service push the experience beyond expectations. Number 8 Bar Liberty Drinks nerds from all over the city gravitate towards compact Bar Liberty and its list of unusual wines, beers, and spirits. It's the kind of place where you might discover a mind-blowing French whiskey, Croatian natural wine or wild fermented local cider. Number 9 Bar Lurinha Calling it a tapas bar wouldn't do justice to the delicacy and thoughtfulness of what appears on either the short regular menu, the expansive list of specials, or what's poured by the bar's excellent staff. Number 10 Tonka Drawing on their Indian heritage, executive chef Adam Silva and head chef Hendry Buddyman give Tonka a flavor that's far too uncommon at this level of dining. The wine list is a cracker, but we're more partial to the smart cocktail menu and its wealth of refreshing, South Asian inspired mixes. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.